is the gateway to the respiratory tract, protecting it from external aggressors in inspired air. These include allergens, viruses, and pollutants. Used as part of daily routine, nasal saline can help maintain good nasal function and improve quality of life. The nose filters, warms, and humidifies some 10 to 15,000 liters of air daily, allowing clean, moist air to reach the lungs. Nitric oxide enters from the sinuses, killing bacteria and optimizing oxygen transport. Nasal breathing improves oxygen uptake by 10 to 20% compared to mouth breathing. They do this with a system of turbinate bones, which make the airflow turbulent, allowing particles to deposit on the nasal mucosa. The respiratory epithelium is characterized by ciliated cells and by mucus producing ones. The cilia beat in a coordinated fashion, directing the mucus backwards towards the throat and upwards in the lungs to the throat. Particles such as viruses, allergens and pollutants become trapped in that mucus, carried backwards and swallowed to be destroyed by stomach acid. A similar mechanism operates in the lungs, beating the substances upwards to the throat. And this is known as the mucociliary escalator. Maintaining good mucociliary function is vital and nasal saline helps to do this. Some 10 to 30% of the global population and up to 40% of children suffer from allergic rhinitis. When such people inhale their allergen, mast cells in the nasal lining degranulate, releasing mediators such as histamine and prostaglandins. These cause local inflammation, resulting in irritation, edema and mucus production. The symptoms caused, those of nasal blocking, running, itching and sneezing, reduce quality of life, especially via sleep disruption and daytime fatigue. They can also cause knock-on effects downstream in the respiratory tract. These can consist of sinusitis, otitis media with effusion, throat problems and worsening asthma. There's good evidence that nasal saline is effective in the treatment of allergic rhinitis in both children and adults and it is represented in guidelines such as those of NICE and the British Society of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. Adults get between two and five colds a year, whereas children suffer between seven and 10. There are one billion cases of influenza annually. These respiratory viruses attach in the nose. If they can get into the respiratory mucosa, they cause local inflammation with symptoms like sore throat, runny nose, sneezing and coughing, and possibly leading to systemic symptoms. The nasal mucosa is the first defense against viruses, and there's evidence that prophylactic use of nasal saline can reduce the number of days with cold-like symptoms. According to the World Health Organization, nine out of 10 people worldwide breathe polluted air. Air pollution induces inflammation in the nasal epithelium. This leads to the presence of nasal symptoms, produces ciliary dysfunction, and reduces mucociliary clearance, thereby potentially retaining the aggressors in the nasal mucosa for a longer period of time. In addition, air pollution also causes worsening of the harmful effects induced by viruses and allergens. Keeping the nose as healthy as possible is an important first step in overcoming the harmful effects of these aggressors on overall health. The saline nasal sprays and drops can be used on a regular basis as a part of nasal hygiene. Nasal saline acts by washing away the thick mucus, the debris and the inflammatory mediators produced by these aggressors. This improves nasal clearance and reduces nasal symptoms. Nasal saline also improves hydration, reduces the dryness of the nasal mucosa and improves overall nasal function. Nasal sprays and drops are convenient to use, easy to use and are acceptable 
and therefore are more likely to improve concordance. Children, like adults, also suffer from the harmful effects of these aggressors. Infants have smaller nasal cavities and are therefore more likely to have nasal blockage. Infants are obligatory nose breathers and therefore are more vulnerable to have blocked noses. This would have a significant impact on their feeding and on their sleeping habits, leaving the parents also having lack of sleep. Nasal saline sprays and drops can help relieve blockages prior to sleeping and feeding, especially in infants who have associated upper respiratory infections. Isotonic solutions in particular are more effective in flushing away the debris and the irritants present in the nasal secretions, especially in children. Use of isotonic sprays during upper respiratory tract infections in children has been shown to reduce symptoms, the use of antibiotics, decongestants, the number of days of illness and the school absenteeisms associated with this. In the same way that people brush their teeth every day to maintain their oral hygiene, use of regular daily nasal sprays seems logical to improve nasal function. Keeping the nose as healthy as possible is important to keep it functioning well. Nasal saline can help the mucociliary escalator to work most effectively, removing particles such as viruses, allergens and pollutants in the mucus to where they cannot cause problems. Daily nasal saline is effective and I would recommend use every morning and evening, just as you clean your teeth, plus an extra squirt or two on the lateral wall of the nose if you've been in contact with any particular aggressor, such as an allergen, virus or pollutant. Thank you very much for listening.